The government has announced a 3% pay rise for NHS staff in England. <laughs> We were just disgusted, really. It was absolutely disgusting. I mean, after everything that we've done. Everyone's obviously very angry, very upset. When we found out that the cost of the pay rise would be met by existing NHS budgets, when we're already running so, so short, that was just the final straw, really. If we don't get a substantial pay rise, then we're seeing an inability of us to deliver our core services. We've still got 40,000 plus nurse vacancies in the NHS. That's in England alone and vacancy rates are actually growing. Since the first wave, a lot of nurses, a lot of doctors have left the profession because they just can't do this kind of work anymore for the pay that we get. We're continually physically exhausted, but then also mentally exhausted. Terrible shift patterns, not enough rest. If we have to isolate, you have to take it as unpaid leave. It's not that we can bear, but do you really care? The kiss of life to save our life, all you do is stare. We're all burnt out, we deserve fair pay. It's time to strike. It's not like we want to, but this is a real, real kick in the teeth. Now what we're seeing is a mood of anger, outrage and disappointment turning into determination to take this on and take the government on. This is not just for pay in our pockets, but it's for patient safety as well. We have such a huge responsibility. The NHS is definitely on its knees. Every single day you come into work, um, admissions are piling up, there's no nurses, there's no beds. <laughs> It's really important that everyone who works in the NHS to get out there on Friday uh, to protest for a proper pay rise. Everyone should be involved, like nurses, doctors, physios, the receptionists, everyone should be involved. Everyone who cares about the NHS, please come and support us too. We really need your help. If you're a trade unionist, if you're a postal worker, if you're a firefighter, if you're a student, if you've been active in Black Lives Matter, if you're worried about the environment, if you're in a tenants association, we need you to support us now. We cannot do this alone. We need the support of the entire community that we know will sustain us to keep this fight going. Come on the demo with us. Fight with us to save the NHS. Our black